I charge lucid gravity at a Tesla supercharger. The shocking truth they didn't tell you. Hey there, EV fans. This is Hussein, your host, and I welcome you back to EVpedia, your ultimate home for all things electromobility. Today's story isn't just another charging test. It's a real-world experiment that left even me a little stunned. Because today, I took the all-new 2026 Lucid Gravity, Lucid's luxury electric SUV, and plugged it into a Tesla supercharger. What happened next honestly surprised me. Did it outperform Tesla's own cars? Or did it fall short of the hype? Stick with me till the very end. Because you'll want to hear how this one turns out. And just before we roll, a quick note. This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. All images, footage, and data belong to their respective owners under fair use. Now, let's get charged up. So, here's the deal. The Lucid Gravity isn't just another EV. It's an electric powerhouse. With a staggering 400 kilowatt maximum DC fast charging rate, this SUV enters a territory most EVs can only dream of. In fact, that makes it one of the fastest charging electric vehicles currently sold in America. Lucid has even gone a step further by fitting it with the North American Charging Standard Plug, the same connector used by Tesla. That means native access to Tesla's massive supercharger network, which is now opening its doors to other automakers. Naturally, I had to try for myself. So I took my Lucid Gravity Grand Touring, which starts at a wallet-trembling $122,950, and headed straight to a nearby Tesla station. Now, I'll be honest, I wasn't sold on the gravity when I first got behind the wheel. The price tag felt steep, and with so many premium EVs flooding the U.S. market, it's easy to wonder, do we really need another six-figure electric spaceship? But after driving it for a while, my answer started to change. You see, the gravity is more than just expensive. It's exceptional. With an estimated 450 miles of range, an enormous 123 kilowatt hour battery pack, and an ultra luxurious interior that could make even a Bentley blush, this SUV proves that Lucid knows what it's doing. Sure, there are still a few software quirks, like those smart key hiccups, but Lucid promises fixes soon. Now, one of the gravity's biggest bragging points is its charging capability. On a powerful enough DC fast charger, say, a 350 or 400 kilowatt station. It can charge faster than almost any other car on the American market. In fact, on a 350 kilowatts charger, the gravity can go from 0 to 25% in just 5 minutes and hit 80% in around 27 minutes. That's lightning quick, considering its massive battery. But how does it behave when you plug it into a Tesla supercharger, the same network designed around Tesla's own cars? That's where things get really interesting. Most Tesla's V3 chargers max out around 250 kilowatts, and not every non-Tesla EV can handle those rates efficiently. So I decided to find out. This wasn't some controlled lab test. It was a spontaneous, real-world trial. I was out running errands when I noticed a nearby Tesla station. My gravity set at about 40% charge with 175 miles of range remaining. So I opened the charging settings, preconditioned the battery manually, just like you would before a road trip, and backed the gravity into a supercharger stall. It was 6.52 p.m. when I plugged in. Within seconds, the charging rate shot up to 105 kilowatts, then 180, then 200, and within a minute, it was pulling 220 kilowatts, astonishingly close to the supercharger's maximum limit. Keep in mind, I was starting at 40% not from empty, so had the battery been lower, I'm convinced it would have gone even higher. Lucid says the gravity should peak around 225 kilowatts on 500 volt systems like Tesla's V3 units. Since the gravity runs on a cutting edge 926 volt architecture, it requires higher voltage chargers to hit that 400 kilowatts peak. But even here, the performance was remarkable. The system told me it would take just 15 minutes to reach my target of 80%. So, I left it charging and kept an eye on progress through the Tesla app while I finished my shopping. 10 minutes in, the gravity still held steady, 165 kilowatts at 65%, 145 kilowatts at 75%, and a rock-solid 140 kilowatts until it hit 78%. A few minutes later, the session wrapped up, 17 minutes total from 40 
to 80 percent. In that time, it added 175 miles of range and 47 kilowatt hours of battery energy. I returned to find 351 miles of total range waiting for me, and my errands weren't even done yet. That's the beauty of it. It just works. The gravity passed both of my personal benchmarks. Does it get the job done on a road trip? And does it charge as promised? Without a doubt, yes. Imagine you're on a long drive, sitting at 40% charge, and you find a Tesla plug nearby. Within 20 minutes, you're back on the road with enough juice for the next leg of your journey. That's a game changer. To put this in perspective, let's compare. The Lucid Gravity's 123 kilowatt hour pack went from 40% to 80% in just 17 minutes. The Tesla Model Y, with a smaller 75 kilowatt hour battery, took 27 minutes to go from 10% to 80%. The Hyundai Ionic 9, sporting a 110 kilowatt hour battery, needed about 30 minutes to charge from 20% to 80%. Lucid's 926-volt electrical system is what gives it the edge. It enables higher efficiency and faster charge acceptance even on Tesla's network, something Tesla's own cars can't fully match yet. When I last tested a Model Y, it took 27 minutes to reach 80%, adding about 228 miles of range. Tesla claims you can get 144 to 182 miles in 15 minutes, but the gravity matched that even starting at a higher state of charge. As for the Hyundai Ionic 9, it simply couldn't keep up. Its 800-volt system maxed out at 126 kilowatts on most superchargers, making its 30-minute time feel sluggish by comparison. So yes, Lucid's SUV definitely wins this round. Even compared to its sibling, the Lucid Air, which can only manage around 50 kilowatts on a supercharger, the gravity is in a league of its own, for everyday drivers, this means something simple but powerful. If you own a Lucid Gravity, you don't have to worry about where to charge. With more than 20,000 Tesla superchargers across North America, you can plug in almost anywhere and be road ready in record time. And if you do find a high powered 400 kilowatt station, you could easily add 200 miles of range in under 12 minutes. In my book, that's nothing short of amazing. The lucid gravity is proving that performance, range, and practicality can live in harmony. It's not just an EV. It's a statement of what the future of charging convenience looks like. So, what's next for this electrifying SUV? Well, my next stop is America's fastest EV charging station to see just how far we can push the gravity's 400 kilowatts limit. And that brings us to the big question from the start. Did the Lucid Gravity outperform Tesla's own cars at their own superchargers? Absolutely. In my test, it did better than the Model Y, charged faster than the Ionic 9, and proved that Lucid's engineering is top tier. My personal take? Lucid nailed it. The Gravity might not be cheap, but it's one of the few EVs that truly feels worth its price, fast, refined, and ready for the future.